The Daily Caller tonight reporting that the Soros-backed Democracy Integrity Project paid firms tied to Fusion GPS and Christopher Steele, the foreign agent, a whopping $3.8 million in 2017. Why? To dig up dirt on, quote, government entities. Now, despite all that we have uncovered night after night, James Comey, while he's continuing to remain defiant, insisting that he has nothing to hide, We've tried to remind him many times, Jimbo, you have the right to remain quiet. You may want to exercise that right as you dig a deeper hole every day. Like, oh, signing off on a FISA warrant, saying it's verified, and telling Trump it's salacious but unverified months later. Take a look. Investigate what? Investigate that investigations were conducted? And what would be the crime you'd be investigating? So it's a terrible cycle to start. He's already started it with calling for the locking up of his political opponents, including people like me. And so it would just be more of that dangerous step. And I would hope, although they continue to disappoint me, the Republicans would finally stand up and say, we don't do that kind of thing. But as me personally, ask me questions. Go ahead. I'd like to answer them in the daylight if I could. I'd like to see that, too, because now we know a lot more than we did before. Here with reaction, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Senator Lindsey Graham. When the president was on this program last week, Senator, the president said very clearly he will, there will be a cascade of information. Doug Collins today releasing yet another closed-door testimony, Bill Priestep, in this particular case, uh, very revealing. Um, then we're going to get the FISA applications, aren't we? The ones that so. the Grassley... Graham memo said the bulk of information came from the phony Hillary bought and paid for Russian dossier. Um, interesting. Then we're going to have Gang of Eight information and, and we'll get 302 information. Um, Democrats aren't asking for that transparency, <laughs> but we will get it and you will continue. You've made that promise to us. Yeah, well, let me tell you why. Because millions of Americans believe at the top level of Department of Justice and the FBI, they wanted Clinton to win and Trump to lose. They manipulated the law to let her off, manipulated the facts in the law to go after Trump. And that's a big deal to a lot of uh, people, Republicans and some independents. So I promise you, uh, former Director Comey will get to testify in the light of day. I'll ask him about the dossier. Was it the chief reason you got a warrant against Carter Page? Is it verified to this day? If there's a counterintelligence investigation opened against the Trump campaign, why didn't you tell Trump about it so he could do something like you told Feinstein? And at the end of the day, how could you write that Clinton did nothing wrong even before you interviewed her? And why did you interview her with two, of, two people in the room, uh, her aides and not under oath? Most people don't get that treatment. All right. So the important thing is your committee will take over where the House Intel Committee left off. So it right. gives you a, a big leg up. But right. then I don't know at what point a lot of this information will be released. I believe the president is serious when he says that that information is coming out. You raise right. a lot of other questions with Comey. I would argue, as Greg Jarrett and others, lawyers on this program have argued, that there is a vulnerability for Comey. There's a vulnerability for Strzok and Page. There is a vulnerability for McCabe. We know criminal uh, referrals will be coming this week from Devin Nunes, a number of them. So, so criminality, it's not my job to find out if crimes were committed. It's my job as oversight of the executive branch. Did they bend the rules? Did they break the rules to get an outcome? Uh, did, did they mislead the FISA court? Do we need to change the rules about FISA courts? Are there any rules at all about counterintelligence operations? Why didn't you not tell Trump? You told Feinstein she had somebody on her staff working with China. Why didn't you go to Trump and tell him about suspicions about Russia? Was it a backdoor attempt to get in his campaign? Some prosecutor, not a politician, needs to look at Comey, McCabe, and all of these characters to find out if, in fact, they broke the law. And I'm hoping uh, Attorney General Barr will assign somebody to this case with the same resources and commitment to look at them as uh, Mueller had to look at Trump. Let's look real quickly at the border crisis that is going on, even hearing from uh, yeah. Barack Obama's director of Homeland Security yeah. yesterday, Mark, who we had on earlier in the program, uh, real crisis. But yeah. Donald Trump, his veto was not overridden. That money right. will be reappropriated, re $9 right. billion. Right. Um, 
president tried to work with Democrats, the things they say they wanted, they wouldn't sit down with him. Right. In a way, it's actually a bigger victory for the president, more money than he ever dreamed of, probably enough to get a <laughs> yeah. real good chunk of this done and complete. But I think these other countries see what's happening, and they're trying to get to that border as quickly as possible, knowing it won't be open as long as maybe they thought. So I asked the head of the Border Patrol, uh, do you need a wall? And he said, absolutely. So the president stood firm. He has more money for a wall than he's ever had because he's willing to declare an emergency, and there is one. But he also said, if you don't change our laws, the wall won't work. Right now, if you step one foot into the United States and claim asylum, you're entitled to a hearing. We have no place to put you and we release you in the country. If you come here with children, you can only be held 20 days. We release you because we have no place to put you. That's why we're being overrun by people from the Triangle countries, because we can't deport you back to those countries. If you don't change that, you never fix this, and I hope Democrats will help us. All right. Lindsey Graham, thank you. We appreciate you, your commitment to go forward, get to the truth. And those that violated laws, they need to be held accountable. We will do that on this program as we have promised you.